Hi guys, welcome to the beginning of my creative year 2018. We are here this week uh, with all your different teachers to discuss what we're going to do going forward for 2018 and what we're going to use. Now I will tell you right away um, that first of all I'm filming this in November so the year's not done yet for 2017 but I do already know I'm going to continue to work in my traveler's notebook. I'm having a lot of fun working in this notebook and I love the size. It's very portable. It's easy to take around with me whether I'm just going to the front of the house or I'm going on a trip. It fits in my bag really easily. So I'm going to continue to use a traveler's notebook. I got this one on Amazon. Um, it's a leather one. It's not a Midori, but um, I'll put a link in the description. Um, I take that back. I'll put a link over in the Facebook group on, um, there's a file for our teacher video and links. So I'm going to put that over there and it has materials and all that. So I'm going to put that over there. And I'm going to put a link to the Amazon listing where I got this. If you're not part of the Facebook group for my creative year, then um, think about joining. And that is in the description of this video here on YouTube. Um, and in the Facebook group, you can get links for the materials I've used and freebie downloads. Of course, there is lots of community and camaraderie uh, and help um, if you're trying to um, have a creative year, document your life, um, follow your inspiration, follow your dream, whatever it is. Okay, so we're going to be taking lots of different directions with this, each one of the teachers this year. For me, I'm going to continue, like I said, to work in my traveler's notebook. I'm going to be documenting my life and my journey. And um, I'm going to bring, be bringing forward some more art tutorials than I traditionally have in the past into this particular journey. Uh, journal. In the past I have, and I can show you this month's, uh, in the past I have done these homemade signatures where I do a little bit of journey, uh, journaling about uh, myself and my journey. I document my life. I've got a calendar in there. Um, I pick up little bits and pieces on our trips and travels, whether I'm at home and not going far or I've gone on vacation, and I use them in my journal. I'm going to continue to do that, but we're going to do a little bit more art um, and art inspiration. I am going to probably also um, show in the group working in one of my other journals. Now, instead of creating my own signatures, I have a bunch of these traveler's notebook size notebooks. Um, some with drawing paper, some with craft paper. Um, some with lined paper, calendar paper. So I'm going to, I have a bunch of them, so I'm going to be using up what I have. And for January, I have a, I'll take this out right away. I have a craft paper one that I pulled. And I created these small mini calendars that would fit in here. And this, um, for 2018, and this is a free download um, that you can get in the Facebook group. Um, it's in the files. Um, and these are sized to fit in here in this notebook. Um, I've gone ahead already and printed up the whole year. Um, I'm also going to be working hard at using up what I have in the way of supplies. So in this case, I have these stickers. I think these are Diane Reevely. Somebody gave them to me and I don't remember who, which is funny because one of these says remember. <laughs> I don't, it might have been Cindy Utter. It could have been, I don't remember honestly. Somebody gave them to me in Happy Mail and I don't know. Um, but they're real cute, super cute, so we're gonna use them up. And right away on this one, I've been thinking about this and I had a conversation with my sister the other day and it really helped me think of something that I want to be in the front of the journal, in the front for the beginning of the year going forward. Um, we were discussing um, a project of hers. So I'm going to, in this journaling scare, square, um, write it right in here. And hopefully spell everything, everything correctly.
So for me, moving forward with intention towards your dreams is really a statement I want to have for the whole year. I will not be derailed. I will not be deterred, deterred um, from doing exactly that. So I'm going to put that right in the front of the journal. I have this other thing I printed on my LG Pocket Photo printer. Now this is actually a screen capture from one of those silly little Facebook um, things that you do. You know it says click here and um, will tell you what your, um, you know, color, what color you are and what the meaning is or um, will tell you, um, 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 you know, what your Santa Claus name is, what your elf name is or whatever. So this one had to do with your motto for the year and it took your Facebook picture and it first of all created it into a, a line drawing which I loved and then I loved what it said about me don't underestimate me I know more than I say I think more than I speak and I notice more than you realize so 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 true I love that and even if it's not true I would like it for it to be <laughs> so true so I printed it on the sticker paper and we're going to stick this right into my journal and if you are from the my year 2017 group you'll see I've seen this already because I put it in the November journal also I will probably be I could see me printing this a few times I'm going to stick it right in here in the front page okay now these these are pieces of Dollar Tree um, like little plastic cutting boards they're cheap they come in a pack of two um, it's in the kitchen department and they cut real easily on a plain paper cutter I use them all the time for things like labels on my bins I can actually have used them for actual journal covers <coughs> pardon me they work for all kinds of things in this case what I'm noticing from all the different work I've been doing this year not to mention daily sketches is it's really handy when you've already finished a page and you're turning the corner to work on another page to have something sort of hard underneath. Um, it not only helps protect the work that you've already done but it helps prevent marks or bleed through onto the clean piece of paper that you haven't worked on yet. So I cut two of them so I could do exactly this and slide them under the pages when I go to flip the page and work on the next page. Yeah, so I cut these for my journal. You can buy this kind of thing, but they're like five or six dollars each sheet. You can get two of these big giant cutty boards, and I want to say they're like 12 by 14. They're huge. This is the leftover piece from the one I cut these from. And um, these measure, I know somebody's going to ask, so I will tell you. Four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And I just used one of my punches to round the corners because um, I didn't want the sharp corners. And I made two of them so I could have one under one side and one under the other side, again, to protect my pages from bleed through, spill over, from if I'm doing a pen, a pen sketch from leaving too many impressions in the next page. They're real handy, and I recommend that if you're working in a journal like this, no matter the size, um, if this is and where you have like sort of drawing paper, it's a really handy idea, especially if you're taking it traveling, because if we don't always have a hard surface underneath us when we're drawing, right? But this way, with these in here, I kind of do, so that works for me. So you'll see those a lot in the coming year. Uh, for right now, we're going to move this one here because we're not done with our opening page yet. Um, so one thing I want to do going forward, I just said I wanted to do art, right? So I have these two paint pens, and these are Graphic Line Painters. These are by Derwent. Use what you have. Don't go buy anything special. Don't go there. Don't fall into that trap. I'm using what I have. I do think I have to get these both started because I haven't done that yet. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay. I'm gonna zoom in, let's see. There we go. So I have two different colors of kind of turquoisey blue. This one is minted, it's more of a green. And this one says, Billy. I don't know. That's what it says, Billy. 
Anyway, it's like a tealy color. So I intentionally picked those two colors. Um, what I want to do is I'm going to start in this corner, I think, and go up this way. And I think I'm also going to come this way. I'm going to draw footprints. I think footprints are really appropriate. I tried to decide what I was going to draw. And I thought, you know, I, th I thought I was kind of overthinking it. And then I was kind of looking around for, you know, inspiration. And I thought, oh, what a, just a, what about footprints? So we're kind of dry, kind of a, I don't know, kidney bean shape? Can you see that? Maybe I should zoom in some more. Okay, so one kidney bean shape sort of going that way and one kidney bean shape sort of going this way and then I'm going to use my pen to color it in and then I'm going to draw five toes one bigger and then gradually smaller right my person's kind of a little bit bow-legged but that's okay and actually I think I want to Yeah, so I'm going to create some footprints and I will be right back. I love that. All right. So we did the paint pen and then I outlined them with just a plain old black Bic. You're going to see this pen a lot in the coming uh, months. Um, it's my favorite sketching pen. It's a plain old Bic crystal pen uh, from the office supply store. So that's our January um, um, book set up and ready to go. So we're going to set that aside. I have these two things. These are from Dick Blick catalogs, which for some reason I got two of. I'm still not exactly sure why I got two, but I did get two. So I cut the covers off because I really love this image. And we're going to take one of them and we are going to cut this part off here. Okay, so we have this, and what does this measure? Four and a half, which is, I think, a bit big. Yep. So let's cut another quarter inch off, because it needs to be like four and a quarter. be like four four and a quarter yep all right we're gonna take this one and we want this one to be four and a half four and three quarters I think a little wider and we are going to tape these together overlapping them just a little bit. I was gonna do something like invisible um, which I may still do on the outside but I have this pretty gold duct tape 
which I forgot I had until I was looking for something to get these stuck together with. So, um, let's see. What we're going to do is put it on this one on the inside. It's duct tape, so it's super sticky, not easy to cut. <laughs> you know, it's duct tape. All right. I want all the bottle tops to go the same way. I want to overlap them just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to stick that down. And then I think I'm going to cut this shorter. Unstick. <laughs> Unstick. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to take this scrap piece and I'm going to cut it in half, hopefully. that seam and I'm going to push it really down really good okay then I'm going to fold this in half what's left and crease it And then I'm going to cut the corners off. Uh, actually, I don't need to cut the corners off because it's shorter than the notebooks. Nope, I don't need to. So that's a good thing. So then over the course of the year, I'm going to be adding things to this, maybe to the outside, definitely to the inside, that I think I like in order that uh, what do I, how do I want to say this I'm going to use this as a sort of a vision board and it's going to be a vision board I constantly build on over the year and um, I'm off camera again sorry um, and I can put things on here to remind myself about things I want to or feel like I need to remind myself about over the course of the year um, the one thing I want to do right off the bat I think is use these scraps this is a, by the way, glue dots adhesive runner. Uh, gifted to me from the glue dots people when I was at Creativation in January of 2017. So let's actually use all of these pieces from the Dick Blick catalog because I really do like them. crooked but it's gonna stay that way <laughs> and literally when I when I say use all the pieces I mean use all the pieces so by the end of the year um, this is gonna look really interesting because it's gonna have tons of stuff on it and right away I see um, two quotes laying on my desk, actually three, four, <laughs> that I think I need to add to here. So we're going to do that. This one says, be brave. Adventure awaits. Boy, I hope that's true. Dwell in possibility. The quotes want to go up inside the tape, so let's try to have it not do that. Yeah. 
and live in the moment. All things that I need to tell myself or remind myself about 2018, expectations I have about the year, things I want to make sure I am mindful of, and I move forward towards with intention. I love that. You can also make create a mini vision board, of course, with pictures, other kinds of positive affirmations to yourself. I would love to see you all do this, whether it's just for the month of January or it's for the whole year. I plan on having this one in there until it's completely full and then I'm gonna make a new one. So I hope you choose to do that with me. So, 2018, are we ready? I think we are. So I hope you decide to have fun with us this year in my creative year. And if you don't know what that is, it's a Facebook group with free art and instruction, freebies and community and creativity on Facebook. We would love to see you join us over there. The link is in the description below. Links for any and all materials I've used will be over in the Facebook group along with freebie downloads and everything else. So check it out. Hope to see you there. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And the link to the Facebook group is in the description of this video. Bye, guys. Thank you.